Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So recently Evolution Power Tools sent me a large chop saw to try out and use in my videos. Um, I'm an affiliate of theirs so if you're interested in this product or any other products I'll leave all the links down below in the description box. So in this video I'll be unboxing, testing and reviewing this chop saw. So here is the Evolution R355 CPS 355mm or 14 inch diameter TCT multi material cutting chop saw. As you can see on the box it comes with a three year guarantee. Here is an illustration of the machine. As you can see it has a very large blade on it so it's got very good cutting depth and width, good cutting capacity. And as an illustration here showing the various materials that this saw is capable of cutting. There's some information here on the side. Starting off, um, it's a 2200 watt machine. So quite a powerful machine and it comes included the 355 mil TCT blade. And then it tells you some examples of what this machine can do. Square 90 degree, 120 by 120 mil. Square 45, 89 by 89 mil. 90 degree rectangle, 95 by 180 mil. 45 degree rectangle, 78 by 110 mil. Round 90 degree, 130 millimeters. Round 45, 105 millimeters. It has a two meter cable and the machine weighs 21.5 kilograms so this machine is capable of cutting various materials as are many of the evolution saws this one has a premium japanese tungsten carbide tipped blade that's what tct stands for that comes included in the pack and it cuts through steel aluminium wood uh, with embedded nails plastic and more and there are various blades that you can buy from evolution that are, are specific to certain materials here is an example of just some of the blades you can get for this machine and others. Here we have um, a blade specifically designed to cut aluminium. Here is one designed to cut thin steel and here is one designed to cut general steel. There's some more interesting information on the side of the box here. Um, it tells you that this is a new and improved design, compact and robust design with headlock down pin and ergonomic carry handle for easy transportation. There's a new and improved ergonomic ambidextrous horizontal trigger with safety lock off switch. Improved quickly reposition the fence for versatile cutting of round, square and rectangle materials. Improved again attachable V-shaped block included for secure clamping of round and square tube. Very interesting. Another improvement here. Chip deflection guard for added safety and cleaner working environment. And then there's a new feature here. Easy blade change with integrated tool storage. So we'll be checking out all this later in the video. So now I'm going to open up the box so we can take a look at all the parts that come included. You get the instruction manual, you get this piece of metal, and of course the saw itself. Okay, so here is the saw. So let's just take a quick look through it. Um, first of all, there's this nice big chunky solid handle on here to carry it around. Even if you've got some big gloves on, you can still get your hand in here. It's nice and big and feel secure. So that's good. Um, the motor is on the side here. Quite a nice big powerful motor. Big button here. Uh, with a, a safety lock switch so there's two buttons to sort of trigger here the cowl or the, the cover for the blade is metal nice and solid 
At the back here, there is um, a pin that you release to lift the blade up. Just before that, um, the cable itself is really thick and chunky as well. Real good quality cable. Reminds me of one that you might get on um, a really good quality pond pump. Decent quality cable, nice and thick. So you can release the pin at the back here, pull it out, and the saw will lift up. On here, there's the uh, the blade lock button that you can push down when you want to change your blade. Here is the blade. Um, there's not much to this really, it's just a flat bed with a sort of flat fence at the back. The fence is adjustable via these Allen keys here, so you can change the angle if you, if you wish. I'd probably just keep mine 90 degrees. Then you've got the clamp at the front here. This uh, twists in and out nice and easily. This might look like it's plastic, but actually it's metal. Everything here is metal. The Allen key is at the front here to change um, the position of the fence and a few other things. So there's a, a flat attachment on here for clamping flat stuff like square faces, um, square wood, square metal. And then if you want to cut round stuff, big pipes, you've got this attachment here which slides over this one and then it, it, it forms a groove so that you can grab the pipe better when you clamp it up. Clamp feels really solid and chunky, it's already pre-greased so no greasing to do. And that is about it for this uh, overview of this this saw, there's not much to say. It's quite a simple machine, it chops things. So now let's give it a test. If you would like to know more about Evolution Power Tools or are interested in buying their products, you can go to the Evolution Power Tools website, which is on screen now, and you can take advantage of my promo code PWProjects for a 5% discount at checkout on any Evolution Power Tools. As an affiliate of Evolution Power Tools, I make a small commission on each sale when my code is used. This is at no extra cost to you and it helps to support this channel. All links and relevant info can be found in the description of this video. Thank you and now let's get back to the video. Okay, so I started off with an old fence post. It's 95 mil by 95 mil and I added 20 ring nails to it which I got from some pallets. This should give it a good test. See how cleanly it cuts this fence post. I'm using the multi-material blade which comes with the saw and I'll be using my safety goggles and ear defenders. I just needed to get it clamped up nice and tight in the vise and as you can see it cuts through this fence post even with 20 nails added like butter. It even left a really clean cut too. Now just to show the capacity of the saw I've got a 175mm by 45mm piece of wood and as you can see it can cut through that no problem so it's good with wider materials too. Here I have some steel 20mm by 20mm by 1.5mm thick and I've got two pieces clamped up. Here's another piece of steel 25mm by 25mm by 1mm thick. And another piece 50mm by 25mm by 1.5mm thick.
Here's some angled steel, 3mm thick. And some more angled steel, 6mm thick. Now I could add the attachment onto the clamp and this will allow for round objects to be clamped such as this aluminium pipe of one and a half mil thick. And this copper pipe one and a half mil thick. Now to change the blade, it's really easy. You can remove that bolt there with the Allen key provided and the cover drops down and then you can hold the blade lock button while you undo this central nut here. And then that flange comes off and the blade comes out. Here I have a blade specifically for steel here I have some 20 mil thick steel bar so this is solid steel and you can see the spark arrester doing its job at the back there. And that left a surprisingly clean cut. Now for some aluminium, I've got an aluminium blade here. Nice and easy to change the blade on this machine. Here is some solid aluminium, 26 mil in diameter. And again, this blade also left a really clean cut. The saw is super easy to pack away with the pin and carry it with the handle. Okay, so that is about it for this video. So my first impressions of this Evolution chop saw, I think it's very good, it's very powerful and uh, well made, nice and robust, solid, easy to transport around with that big carry handle and uh, well designed. It's very easy to change the blade and it cut through anything I threw at it so all in all, I think it's a good chop saw. It's got plenty of capacity and um, the blade that comes with it, the uh, multi-material blade is excellent. And with the added options of all the different blades you can get, that makes the tool even more useful. So if you did find this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.